morning everybody it's iPod King Carter here the Superman of YouTube before I get into this video I want to give a big thanks to Mellow 6100 for the beat and that little mini clip video and uh, definitely X Chase Money for this beat that I'm gonna be riding out to this entire video but basically everybody already knows that so many people have been dropping videos on this NBA 2k 13 demo and I decided to actually live stream from my channel and game face studios to let people know the community is still together we probably are the biggest community on YouTube that actually stick together I know it's a lot of people out there in other communities that don't stick together don't want to help each other out but I'm willing to try to build and grow with everybody you know what I'm saying on any type of playing field but let me get into this video. I want to play with OKC. This video is my impressions, my breakdown, my reactions, <laughs> my thoughts on everything that happens in this demo. Now, the reason why I decided to play with OKC is because I was riding with Miami the entire time and all these demo games, even going online, I just was never getting a chance to play with OKC. So I wanted to see how everything felt. Now, in both of those trips up and down the court, you've seen bump animations, you've seen contact with no calls, and with that step back jumper right there, that's a crazy killer shot, because that's something that KD will do, he will step back and pull in your face, it's, it's, it's real realistic to me, but to tell you the truth, I know a lot of people will say, oh man, it still looks like you get bumped and you can't do anything, but let me tell you this. When you do get bumped, well, check out that check out that right there. See me trying to die for the ball. I guess, you know, I still got to get my hustle up. But to tell you the truth, these bump animations are real. But check out LeBron. I I'll talk about LeBron in a second. He's so overpowered. But with the bump animations, it's something that you have to understand. It's your choice on what you want to do. Now, you check that bump animation that just happened right there, right? I was too fast for my defender. I hit a hop step jumper. In somebody's face on a fly now the thing about that is you have to pick your shots wisely because what happens is when you're playing defense and you're playing offense you'll notice that a lot of people are sliding all over the place you know they're trying to help out on defense they're trying to get back on their man and right there in that play when Bosch dunked it the play actually got broken up defensively and that's why he was able to get open but to tell you the truth this build right here that I was playing wasn't very fluid to me because the build that I played in San Fran we weren't able to call for picks but for some reason the bounce passes seemed like they were better um, it wasn't that many stealing spamming and all of that like I noticed that a lot of people when I went online people were still doing charge um, charges from in the backcourt people were still stealing the ball by spamming the steal button I also noticed that I was getting forced out of bounds and the reason for this is I say I was dribbling and I was trying to go baseline somebody would push me and nudge me and I would go out of bounds but it wouldn't go as a blocking call that's one thing that I did notice. So if 2K Sports is watching this video, the devs and stuff like that, if you haven't patched that by now, I'm just letting you know for right now that you definitely have to patch that. Also, the up and unders, oh man, they're still a big thing in this game. Um, I will say that the spin layups, the hop step layups, and the euro steps, I don't know. I don't think that they'll be that effective as they are right now currently because... In 2K12, all you had to do was press LT and the analog toward the rim. Now, if you want to do a Euro step, you got to double tap X. You got to have the momentum to take yourself to the rim. And same thing with the hop step. You got to double tap B and press X. Now, check out that move that Dwayne Wade just pulled off. He came around the screen and had an open lane. Now, I thought that he was cut off, but his partner just ran into the paint and he just took off. So, that was my mistake thinking that the defense was going to be able to catch up. And D-Wade is just a good player. Now, me, you guys know how I like to play. I like to get to the rim. And I like to play all types of offense. Now, check out this play right here. Now, with this play, you can abuse with Westbrook. And I'll tell you why. Westbrook is unstoppable because he's very fast. His dribbling skills is amazing. And he has a great mid-range shot. Not only a great mid-range shot, he has a great dunk rating. And he's acrobat. He, like, I don't understand why Westbrook is not a 99 in this game. 
and it's not a fan vote of you know him being great it's just with all the skills that he has he was breaking mario chambers down every time i went up against somebody that was using the thunder they were going ham with westbrook whenever i was the thunder i was going ham with westbrook and i don't know if it's just because it was up against mario chambers i don't know if he'll have that same effect against a faster player like derrick rose or something but at that moment at that specific time you can definitely abuse westbrook and another thing is when you're playing with Westbrook, you can go inside the paint and you can pass it to any of your teammates and they'll be open because you'll draw in the defenders with your speed. Because once you get past Chalmers, look who slides over. You know, that's just how easy it is. Now, I know you guys saw me roll the ball that is still in the game. You know, I used to do that a lot in uh, NBA 2K12. Now, you also see me nudging LeBron, trying to get past the defender for a nice little layup. And for some reason, it didn't go off the backboard and we got a shot clock violation. But that goes to show. When you're playing as KD or you're playing as any defender, if a defender is crowding you, you can still get past them and you can still get through them. It's not that hard. And also, another thing is defensively, it's, it's not looking too good in this build. Because what I will say is when you're playing defense and you click on a defender, he automatically drops down in the defensive position, which does not give you any type of advantage against the offensive player. When you drop down in a defensive stand, that offensive player can pick you apart in seconds and it can be right at the rim. Just like if I was on Mario Chambers, he passed it to, uh, let's say, KD and passed it back to Westbrook. And then I went back to Mario Chambers to stick Westbrook. Westbrook can either blow right by me, use a crossover to get past me, and all of that. Now, check out the nice ball movement. I was supposed to get that shot off. And rebounding, that's another big... Oh, man. I, I guess it burns me to say this, but rebounding just does not matter in this demo. Now, I, like I said, I don't know what type of build this is. I don't know if this is right before the build that they got finished, but... What I will say is rebounding does not matter because I tried so many rebounds, so many box outs, and it seemed like the defenders and the offensive players were just night and day. If they went for an offensive board, you know how many offensive boards people got? Do you know how many defensive boards my team got? None, because the offensive computer AI is just jumping out the gym for these um, rebounds and we're not getting any of it. So uh, it's a lot of things that's wrong with this demo that I saw. I will say the game, it looks good, it feels good, but to me, it's just the little things that you, you know what I'm saying that I watch, that I look out for. It's the little things. I'm not gonna say the little things in life, but the little things. Now you check out me trying to, uh, you know, play a little bit of defense with these long passes, but check out the oop the Durant. That's something that's realistic. Perkins, who knows, who ever would think that Perkins would throw a oop? But did you see how Kevin Durant ripped Mario Chalmers off of a spam of the steal button? That's just absurd, man. Come on, Kevin Durant. I know he has a long wingspan, but come on, you plucking, you plucking Mario Chalmers? Are you serious? Come on, man. <laughs> it's just some, some about it. Now you check me out with the nice little flop. I just want to show you guys a little couple animations. You can get ran into and go for a flop, and it'll be all good, but that's how it goes now i'm currently up three you know with okc i decided to bring the ball down with durant try to get the last shot you know this video is coming to an end but check out the nice euro step that should have been a foul and i should have been going to the line but it's all good i ain't worried about it but um give me your guys thoughts in the comment section tell me what you thought about the um the gameplay if you have played the demo, what you think about it? To all my PS3 users, the demo should be coming out soon. I feel your pain, but I'm sorry I had to get an Xbox. Now, I also want to say one thing before I get out of here. Pre-order NBA 2K13 so you can be in a dunk contest and a three-point contest. All right, y'all. Peace.